we had been looking for land for four years just to walk in the wilderness. So nothing really was right until we came to this mountain. This mountain is unexpected. The mountain means everything to me. This mountain is my home. We all love the mountain. We're very protective of it. It's a hidden place that has been kept quiet too long. We sometimes refer to it as the Forgotten Mountain. Everybody knows Kruger and everybody knows Waterberg, but not everybody knows the Magic Mountain yet. Not everybody knows Sautpansberg. The Sultansberg Mountains are South Africa's northernmost mountain range, but it, it's currently very poorly protected. Uh, less than 2% of the whole mountain range is under formal conservation. The EWT recognised this as a gap um, in, in protecting our country's biodiversity. And that's how the whole concept of the Sultansberg Protected Area Programme was established. And from there, the first land purchase took place. In 2017, the Roberts family then donated some funds towards the purchase of the first land parcel that's currently owned by Endangered Wildlife Trust called Madiki. It's 1,400 hectares within the middle of the western Sautpansberg. Additional property where we're currently sitting, which is on the plateau, which we now call Madiki East, was then purchased a year or so later in September of 2019 and currently the size of EWT's footprint on the mountain is uh, 2,733 hectares. Because of the uniqueness and the special mountain that we live on, we've initiated a biodiversity stewardship program. Um, so this is a mechanism whereby we can proclaim private land as a nature reserve under the National Protected Areas Act. So. What we're doing is working with 11 different land parcels, but actually it's 20 registered landowners. All the landowners have agreed to work together and form one large nature reserve, which is the Western Sotpensburg Nature Reserve. Of these 11, we've done extensive work so far on uh, Sikruana wilderness, the Shiba wilderness, a uh, property called Kru, and in particular working on um, invasive species on these properties. One of the properties being Sikruana, we cleared in total about 25 hectares of alien trees off that property. There was a very dense stand of eucalyptus and black wattle of over 13 hectares in a wetland. So the impact of that is actually huge because that was taking up all the water. So that was really key to get that water out. These eucalyptus grew like grass. You could watch every year. One and a half meters was nothing. And then we met Aldrich from EWT, who came from heaven, really. And he uh, said, look, these trees must go because the community needs the water back. This river can only flow when we stop these trees on the mountain so that when it comes from the source, that the river has got water again. And so EWT came with this fantastic team here, the, the rangers to cut all these new trees. And we have to carry on painting them with stuff to, to stop this regrowth. But we can see the difference. And we hope the community feels the difference because the water level rises and we can see that plants grow that didn't grow before. So it is a, it is a huge advantage now. The project is success because uh, most of the area we already clear the indigenous tree dominate now the grasses and other plants. The mountain has so much to preserve and the water projects are cutting the alien invasive species out of our water lines. EWT has really come to the party and we've done some great work trying to improve our water up here on the mountain. When EWT came, they started with cutting the blue gums. They were really, really helping and I could see a big difference. Water is returning, animals is returning. Um, it's just vibrant, so I'm so grateful for it.
All of this not only contributes to releasing more reliable water, but it also creates employment directly for people um, working on our projects as, as rangers. So we believe that we make quite a, um, a big impact on, on our local community. Being here, I have learned a lot. I now know how to service cameras. I know how to store data. I understand a lot about maintenance. Uh, I understand a whole lot about uh, anti-poaching and this is all the things that I learned here. So it really empowered me to become who I am today. EWT has taught me so many things. What we do here in Medicaid is patrolling. While we are busy patrolling, we are busy removing tennis nets. Then EWT has given me opportunities like doing my Fogasa. Fogasa is field guide association for South Africans. I can become a professional guide to take the tourist on a hiking and then on the trail walks. What we're wanting to do is develop ways of making this entire landscape sustainable. And so one of the first things that we're doing is looking at the activities that we can do to bring people to enjoy the mountain through ecotourism initiatives. So we've started up a hiking trail which will go across quite a few of the properties on the western end of the mountain. Gaffy spoke to me and said, listen, we want to make a, a hiking trail. We went one weekend out, Gaffy, Ulrich and all of us, and we walked the whole South Bonsberg. And they were like in awe, they're like, we have to do a walking trail. I think the only way you get the public to join in on your mountain experience is this kind of way that farmers allow hikers to move through the mountain, see, experience, go with the guide, learn about rock art, learn about tree species, identify some of the amazing birds that occur on the mountain that are not very common around the country. So I think that EWT initiative to push the hiking trail is actually a key. We are now taking it another step with EWT coming in and unifying so many properties together under a common goal of being caretakers of an incredible piece of land that's so unique and it's not about ownership, it's about caring for what really is a gift to all of us. We believe that the Western South Pansburg is ideally situated as a sort of next frontier for people to discover. It's not far from Johannesburg, it's the same distance and travel time really as driving to the Lowfeld to Kruger National Park. It happens to be this amazing place full of biodiversity, incredible waterfalls, beautiful landscapes, rocks, mountains. So it's just this melting pot of amazingness that we need to protect. The word's starting to spread, so we're starting to get other landowners contacting us about the program, wanting to know if we can start working in their area as well. So we're slowly starting to grow as a program and become known in the community. I think the biggest draw card of the South Pinsburg is its scenic beauty, its vistas and its secludedness. People residing on the mountain have known this for a long time and we would like to actually share that with other people and the richness of this unique landscape.